I was playing around with this plasma globe and I've noticed a lot of really interesting things about it. Um, one thing is that this blue halo that forms around the center here um, looks very, very much like the sun's corona. And uh, the sun, um, uh, most people will say it's made out of um, gas, but actually it's a great big plasma ball. Um, this isn't controversial. This is not, you know, plasma uh, cosmology or anything. I mean, this is uh, this is known to probably everyone in astronomy, but uh, since the sun is a ball of plasma, um, a lot of the uh, the uh, the things that you can see on a plasma globe um, have certain correlates with the sun. Like, it's hard to see on the camera, but you can see that there are dark spots, and um, the there are little filaments that come come out very much like like you would see in detailed uh, photos of the sun. I have some links to some really awesome photographs of the sun's corona if you want to check that out and compare them. Um, another interesting thing is with this plasma globe you don't even have to touch it as long as you're close to it it'll still reach out to the ends of the glass. Um, what's inside, I don't know what kind of gas it is that's inside these globes. If anybody knows, please let me know. But uh, essentially what you've got is um, uh, an electrode in the center. Um, you, you can, when it's turned off, just turn it off here. Well, there's not enough light to see, but it's uh, it has basically some wire wrapped around the center, and the globe is uh, is a, a ball of glass, and inside the globe you have some kind of uh, specialty uh, gas. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but the uh, the electrode at the center um, electrifies the glass and turns it into a plasma, and you get these ghostly streams that come out you come to touch it and there's a certain limit to how many streams will reach out and another interesting thing is that it it takes a little while for it to warm up like it might take five minutes or so before it'll really have the kind of effect it has right now like for example when it first starts up it doesn't have this blue halo um, it'll have you almost always four streams just kind of reaching all over the place and the blue halo uh, in the beginning appears when you touch it not when you don't touch it if you'll notice now the blue halo will appear if all the streams are being uh, attracted to the edges so basically if there's nothing touching the outside of the globe uh, the I don't know what to call them, but but basically the uh, the the plasma reaches out indiscriminately in all directions, more or less evenly. But you can see that there are concentrated streams at certain, not these big streams, but if you look closer, it's probably best if you have one of these on your own, and you can see that to the lower uh, left, and a couple. Of, yeah, you can see some faint ones. Not this big one right here at the bottom, but some of the lighter ones. You can get one of these for like 15 bucks. They're a lot of fun to play around with. Right here I have a wet cloth. And if you put some, something that's metal on top of here, maybe keys are not the best thing to put on top. I thought that would be cool. Okay, there we go. Strange thing it does with metal is it actually kind of makes a burning sound or smell. And I don't know if you saw that. Pick up a little bit. 
if you get close to the metal here on the, on the keychain, a little purple spark. Doesn't really hurt, just a little startling. Ow, there we go. Enough of that. Uh, here is the awesomest thing, the awesomest trick you could do with this thing. Here I've got fluorescent light bulb. Pull the fluorescent light bulb up to a plasma globe and it glows. Lights up. And even if you put the bottom of it up to it, it'll glow a little bit. And I guess that's about it.